Welcome back. So, just to follow up with the, uh, the F-150 towed-in headache fuel pump job, the customer uh, pulled up his own fuse box and he cut the blue and green wire in half, <clears throat> which is switched ignition. Hot and starter run. Um, so when he cut that off the top of the, uh, underneath the fuse box, he moved that circuit to 12 volt constant and added his own 20 amp fuse, which I didn't know what he did. So I had to like backtrack after I did the fuel pump, the fuel tank, the fuel pump driver module, because his on top of it leaking fuel, he said it kept blowing fuses. So some type of short somewhere along the line in the system. Where, was it the fuel pump? I don't know. Was it the fuel pump driver module? I don't know. We just replaced all that shit. So like I said, he uh, kept putting fuses in the fuel pump circuit. Uh, and, and did it so many times that it started melting uh, inside of the fuse box. So he watched somebody's YouTube video on uh, moving the circuit. Um, so remember, this is switched. So he cut that and then he moved it over to a 20 amp fuse and he had it on 12 volt constant, which is wrong. Uh, so 12 volt constant there was not good. What that was doing is energizing uh, the relay constantly, um, although the fuel pump wasn't running because he had another problem on this circuit here, okay, which was hot all times, which was not supplied from the other side of that fuse. Uh, so he had key switched and hot all times. So what I had to do is cut his 20 amp fuse his jumper circuit where he added his own 20 amp fuse to the opposite side of the fuse panel cut his wiring take the blue wire uh, from 12 volt constant uh, and move that over to a 12 volt switched on another circuit that wasn't wasn't being used over here so uh, so this wire went to 12 volt switched over here and then the heavy blue wire which is supposed to be 12 volt constant I moved that to the constant source that he had on his his uh his relocation of that fuse. Um, and then once I figured out where he was going wrong with his wiring and we did some quick tests, I'm like, boom, we got it. Key switched was perfectly fine. Uh, 12 volt constant was fine. We didn't blow any fuses instantly. Uh, the car ran. Um, he had multiple other codes in the system which we're not even addressing today. But in all my frustration and sleepless nights, I'm like, what? I knew I was headed for something. It couldn't be that easy once he said that he was in the fuse box cutting wires and moving circuits. Um, two hours later, I, after you know making sure that I was doing the right thing, uh, got it all worked out. Because uh, sometimes in your fuse box, there is other fused sections uh, that are key switched and um, 12 volt key switched hot and start or hot at all times just laying right in your fuse box and circuits that aren't being used and it's completely okay to move them around in there if you have an issue um, in that type of fuse box there is some other fuse boxes that you will not be able to do that in uh, nor do I advise any of that unless you are an experienced uh, technician and, and know the circuits and have the wiring diagrams so I'm not really sure where his true issue lied I don't suspect it was here, but with him jumping the fuses all the time, I'm surprised he didn't burn out uh, a driver in the powertrain control module, right? So this is where he was working in the fuse box, so ground. And then you see uh, engine controls, powertrain control module, and then this goes to fuel pump driver control module. Um, and it's weird that restraints control module, it actually, it's weird that the fuel pump driver module is doing restraints because we had a code for airbag too. Yeah. And we also had a code for EVAP. We never got another code for EVAP leak. Yeah, and the leak, so. Uh, where was I? So anyway, by him doing all that and jumping circuits and not really knowing what he was doing, it's, he could have blown up the PCM uh, outputs. He could have messed up the fuel pump driver module, which I really wasn't concerned with because I was replacing that anyway. But he could have melted wires or, or pins or something else further along down the system 
which could have wreaked more havoc, headache, and expense. So if you blow a fuse, you put another fuse in and it blows, er, that's it, you're game over. Get it towed to a shop before you cause bigger problems. Thanks for watching.